Black America. While we celebrate symbolism of having a black woman in the White House and a black woman in the Supreme Court, right now as we speak, black women are the most likely to lose their house. Black men have the shortest lives, black children have the highest suicide rate, and even though we are around 15 to 20 percent of the population, we are over 55 percent of those living in the streets. We are going to be third class citizens in the nation we built. We better wake up and vote for real policy. Vote for Greg Mar. Marcel Dixon, Repair Black America to Fix America. Hello everyone, it's me Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So just recently, Uncle Luke of the Two Live Crew and Jamel Hill of the Unbothered Podcast had a little bit of a back and forth on his Twitter and it started out like this. Check it out. Give me five reasons why black people should vote in the next election. Give me five black promises that has been fulfilled by politicians in the last election, mayor and president. And then Jamel goes on to say, serious question, how will not voting help? And then Luke says, I never said not to vote. I asked a simple question, my dear. It's a five and five question. So he sounded like he was a little bit annoyed when he said, my dear, right? Because it's like, you're going to come on here and challenge me, especially when we see that the Democrats have not done anything for black people. So really what are black people getting from, you know, voting? And so she did go on to list five things. And her first one was, well, basically black people pay uh, taxes. And so basically we buy into the right to vote, if you will. And her fourth one is the one that really got me a little heated. And it went like this. Our elders and ancestors were killed for this right. Black people have turned America into a democracy. It's disrespectful to our history and lineage to not engage. Okay, let's just dissect her tweet a little bit. Now, this is how I really believe she's trying to drag Uncle Luke back onto the Democratic plantation because now she's trying to guilt him and everybody else on the thread that kind of came for her. Like, wait a minute, now nah, he's right. What are we getting for, right? But she says that we basically created democracy in America. Well, we might have created democracy for everybody else, but the, a democracy is when everybody has a say so in how the government is run, right? And we know black people has never had any say so in how anything is, um, is ran, especially uh, pertaining to us, right? Never. And so that's a lie right there. Democracy and black people do not even go in the same sentence because it does not exist for us, right? So that's a lie. The other lie that she told to try to drag Uncle Luke back onto the Democratic plantation is that, oh, our elders died for our right to vote. I actually said they were killed. Well, some of that is true, but a lot of it is a lie. They were not killed just so they can walk into the booth and say, okay, I did it. They were killed. And as Dr. Claude Anderson said, their lives were taken from them. They didn't volunteer it. The lives were taken from them so that we can get something for the vote. That's a difference than, oh, they just died for the vote. No, they, they, they died so that we can actually get something for it. They, they're like, we keep telling that lie. And unfortunately we believe that just going into the vote is exercising our right to vote. It's fighting for democracy. No, it's not. When you go into that booth, you're supposed to vote your better interest. You're supposed to vote for tangibles not just for a sticker that says, hey, look at me, Facebook or Instagram, I voted. The next question should be, well, what did you vote for? I don't know, I just did it because my ancestor did it and, and everybody else. No, we want to know what you went in there and voted for. And so Uncle Luke is right to ask, what's the point of us voting if we're just going in there really for symbolism at this point? Are we going in there to actually get something? And so Jamel Hill you know, I'm not going to call her names, but, you know, I, I have one in mind. I ain't going to do that. But she's part of, you know, the political uh, the political gang, if you will, for the Democrats that try to bully everybody else into the same thought process of vote blue, no matter who, whatever you do, just go vote all down ballot for all the, you know, they're on that. And so they're going to start to come for Uncle Luke because he didn't escape off the plantation and they're going to make sure that he doesn't use his platform to influence other black people or basically wake them up, right? Because they want us to stay asleep. They want us to believe that we have a say-so. Democracy is in danger. That's what we've been hearing. But 
we've never even benefited from democracy to know whether it's in danger or not. So anyway, big up to Uncle Luke and Jamel Hill. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth when grown folks are talking, especially when he's trying to wake people up. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.